Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asad Mahmood. I am student of Science Master Electronics Engineering from Uri Tekla. Today I am going to present my article titled Biofusion Expanding Biometric Horizons with ECG and PCG Integration. The article was published in ICO DT2 conference. The co authors are Abdul Hanan, Engineer Muhammad Umar Khan, Dr. Sayyid Jahib Hassan Nakvi, Dr. Muhammad Faraz, and Engineer Sumaira Jiz. Here's the outline of my today's presentation. So, without wasting time, let's move to the introduction. In recent years, there has been a shift towards the field of biometric authentication using biological characteristics. Biometric system revolutionized identity verification and authentication by utilizing unique physiological or behavioral characteristics for individual recognition. In this paper, we use ECG and PCG signal for biometric identification. ECG electrocardiogram is actually the mirror of a heart electrical activity of the heart, whereas PCG phonocardiogram is a captured heart sound. In this paper, our main focus was on the fusion of ECG and PCG that offers a powerful biometric solution. Motivation. Conventional biometrics can be replicated, like iris recognition can be faked using fake eye lens. Similarly, facial recognition can be faked using fake face mask, and finger biometrics can be replicated or faked using fake fingerprints. And there are a lot of applications that can replicate a voice of a person, whereas physiological signals like ECG and PCG offer genuine uniqueness, ensuring robust and tamper-proof security. Physiological logical signal, unlike traditional biometric, can't be faked, providing an unmatched level of authentication, accuracy, and trustworthiness. Using ECG and PCG for security is like using your unique heart patterns making it really tough for someone to pretend to be like you. It keeps everything super safe. Here's the literature review. In one, ECG of 35 subjects was selected and utilized EMD and IMF12 with discriminative features was used and accuracy of 98.9% was acquired. In two, ECG of 11% uh, was utilized in sample empirical mode decomposition and VMD techniques with along with Reynolds entropy for feature extraction was used and accuracy of 98.9% was achieved. In third, PCG of 30% was utilized, filters and EMD techniques was used and accuracy of 95.4% was achieved. In fourth, PCG signal was utilized. IMF with improved complete empirical mode decomposition with a optimized and feature ratio for feature selection, selection was used and accuracy of 96.08% was achieved. Whereas in, PC, in 5, PCG of 40% was utilized, discrete wavelength transform and 9 different time and frequency based features was used and accuracy of 85.87% was achieved. All these accuracies are quite low as compared to our model. Here, our proposed method. This is the overall layout of our, our proposed method. Here, here, you can see how the data was acquired and then pre process and then features were accepted and fused together for classification. So, let's move to step by step approach data acquisition. For data acquisition, we use Biopack MP3 data, uh, equipment. For ECG signal SS2 lead set with surface electrode and for PCG SS3 lead set was used. Total 32 per subject data was collected, including 29 males and 3 females. Age diversity was from 17 to 55 years. Total number of observations was 192 and the sample rate was 2000. Subject posture was seated without any movement. Pre processing. For pre processing, no filter. With bandwidth 48.5 to 51.5 to remove power line interference. And a bandpass separate for ECG and PCG was used 
For ECG, the bandwidth was 0 0.5 to 250 Hz, whereas for PCG, the bandwidth was 20 to 500 Hz. Direct action. Melt, you can see sceptical coefficient and gamma tone. Sceptical coefficient was fused together for field description. As we know, that the MFCC and GDCC was quite, quite focused on low frequency ranges as it was based on human auditory system. So, this, uh, these two gives the very quite uh, excellent results. Classification. For the classification, five fold cross validation was used and different classifier was tested and the best accuracy achieved was from linear discriminant and ensembled subset discriminant and that was 100 percent results so here's the classifier result and uh, finally give maximum accuracy of 68.20 percent percent nearby give maximum accuracy of 97.90 percent Linear discriminant give maximum accuracy of 100%, SVM give maximum accuracy of 99%, KN and FINE give maximum accuracy of 97.90%, Ensemble subspace discriminant give 100% accuracy, whereas in efficient linear SVM give maximum accuracy of 72.40%. Neural network give maximum accuracy of 95.3% and kernel SVM give maximum accuracy of 94.80%. Here, yeah. uh, some um, the response of our model against the various noise level. In this table, you can see has been increased noise up to 80%. Only there is a 11% drop in accuracy, which proves our model versatile. Uh, our model is versatile and ideal for noise critical application. Discussion. Uh, Cross data set validation and feature evaluation. The proposed method was tested on another data set of ECG and PCG signal reported on 1 and 3 and demonstrated an accuracy of 99.6% using the quadratic discriminant linear uh, classifier. The previous accuracy was low around 95.4% and 98.4%, but here we can uh, we get 99.6% accuracy using our uh, method. Also, different time features were tested, uh, and maximum the maximum accuracy was 94.3 by using ensemble subset uh, discriminant classifier. And uh, frequency domain feature and using frequency domain feature, the maximum accuracy was achieved 97.4% uh, and that was by using the linear discriminant classifier. It, uh, all this prove our method efficiency and effectiveness. Conclusion. <clears throat> Concluding all this, PN of ECG and PCG signal for biometric authentication consistently deliver high accuracy even in noisy condition and diverse data set. This fusion approach substantially boosts accuracy, demonstrating its resilience in challenging noise movements environments. The study demonstrates the potential of using Combined physiological signal for high real, reliable biometric authentication system. Future was. In future, our plan was uh, to expand the data set significantly and increase the number of observations to rigorously validate and optimize system accuracy. We will also acquire data under diverse physiological states and posture to enrich the system adaptability and applicability. We also plan to explore deep learning techniques for biometric authentication. Here the references. Thank you.